telephone conversation between President Johnson and Joseph Alsop on November 25, 1963, at 10.40 a.m. Put it on this one. President, Joe Alsop is on 2171. Joe. Yes, Mr. President. I uh, appreciate very much your call. Well, you know what I feel about you, and you know how I I put it all in the letter. And you... talking on it. Do you know on what line? Because we have no, we didn't know. Uh, 2171. Thank you. Uh -huh. He has ordered, uh, will order during the day, probably right after the funeral, uh, a state court of inquiry headed by the Attorney General, which will be, which he will have associated with him, uh, one or two of the outstanding civil liberties juries in the country, perhaps a Jaworski who represented the the Attorney General in the Fifth Circuit uh, Negro case are, and head of the trial lawyers of America, are uh, uh, Dean Story, are... Uh, you mean somebody from outside Texas? No. Somebody from outside Texas? No. Well, they're they going to have the FBI from outside Texas, but this is under Texas law, and, and they, they take all the, uh, all the involvements, uh, and uh, we don't send in a bunch of... Uh, uh, carpetbaggers, it's the worst thing you could do right now. You think so? I know. Well, we got the FBI doing anything that, if there's any question about Texas uh, uh, operation, they got an FBI that is, uh, that, that, that's going to the bottom of it and direct with the Attorney General. But paralleling that is a Blue Ribbon State Court of Inquiry headed by the brilliant Attorney General and associated with him somebody like St. John Garwood, Will Clayton's uh, a son-in-law who was a brilliant Supreme Court justice that's retired. Somebody like Roberts did at Pearl Harbor. And that's what the Attorney General's doing. Now if we have another commission, hell, you're going to have people running over each other. And everybody agrees. Now, uh, I know that one, some of the lawyers, they thought of the Brew Ribbon Commission first to justice. And we just can't have them lobbying against the president uh, when, he, when he makes these decisions. We decided that the best thing nobody, to do nobody. Was to to counterattack, number one, to put an FBI in full force, number two, to put the state in full force. Now, uh, nobody, nobody, uh, uh, Mr. President, nobody lobbied me. I lay awake all night. What about you? They lobbied me last night. Did they? Yeah, I spent, I spent the day on it. I had to leave Miss Kennedy's side at the White House and call and ask the Secret Service and FBI to proceed immediately. I spent most of my day on this thing yesterday. I had the Attorney General of Texas fly in here. I spent an hour and a half with him yesterday evening. I talked to uh, the Justice Department lawyers and to the FBI. The FBI is of the opinion that the wisest, quickest, ablest, most effective way to go about it is for them to thoroughly study it and bring in a written report to the Attorney General at the yes, earliest possible right. date, which they've been working on since 12.30 yesterday, number one. And they have information that's available to no one that has not been presented thus far and so forth. Number two, uh, parallel that, we're having a Blue Ribbon Court of Inquiry. In Texas. In Texas, where well, this thing occurred. Mr. Mr. President, just, just let me give you a, my, my political judgment on the thing. I think you've done everything that could probably be done. We just don't want to be in a position, I'll make this one statement and I'm through. Uh, I want to hear you. We don't want to be in a position of saying that uh, we have come in to a state other than the FBI that they pretty well accept 
with some outsiders and uh, uh, have uh, told them that uh, their integrity is no good and that we're going to have some carpetbag trials. We can't haul off people in New York and try them in Jackson, Mississippi, and we can't haul off people in Dallas and try them in New York. I, I see that, Mr. President, but that's your constitutional. Right, go ahead now. Just let me make one suggestion because I think this covers, I think, I think this bridges the gap, which I believe and Dean Atchison believes still exists. Dean and Bill Moyers are the only people I've talked to about it. And uh, Friendly is going to come out uh, tomorrow morning with a big thing about a, a, um, a, uh, a blue ribbon commission, which he thought of independently. It isn't just this department lawyers who are carrying on this. It's just things that happen to thought, thought of a lot of people, and you've thought of more of the details than anyone else. And I'm sure you're right, except there's one missing piece. I suggest that you announce that as you do not want the Attorney General to have the painful responsibility of uh, reporting on his own brother's assassination, that you have authorized uh, three jurists, and I would suggest a Texas jurist and two non-Texas jurists, to review all the evidence by the FBI and uh, produce a report to the nation for the nation. And uh, after the investigation is completed, so that the country will have the story um, judicially reviewed outside Texas. And if you tell Bill Moyers to call up friendly, and if you get out uh, uh, such an announcement this afternoon, you're going to make a marvel, well, you've already made a marvelous start. You haven't put a damn foot one quarter of an inch wrong. And uh, I've never seen anything like it. You've been simply marvelous in the most painful circumstances. But I do feel that there is that much of a gap. And I'm sure that if Moyers calls friendly, uh, you will have a terrific support from the Washington Post and from the whole of the rest of the press instantly. I'll run both procedures we've got, though. No, you won't. No, you won't. Just use the procedures you've got and add to those procedures a statement saying that when the FBI has completed its work, when it has completed its work, as you do not wish to inflict on the Attorney General, the painful task of reviewing the evidence concerning his own brother's assassination. You have asked two or three, uh, including, I would include, the best judge on the Texas bench, um, uh, uh, um, American jurists beyond, um, or individuals, Dean Hutchison, for example, two or three individuals beyond uh, any possible suspicion as to their independence and impartiality to draw up a written report giving to the public everything of the FBI evidence that is relevant. And then you will have this written report, which is not Texas, which tells the whole story, which is based on the FBI evidence, which doesn't need to use the things that the FBI says can't be used, and yet will carry absolute conviction, and will just be that little extra added to the admirable machinery you've already got that will carry complete conviction. My lawyers, Joe, tell me that the White House must not, the President must not, uh, inject himself into uh, uh, local I agree with that, but in this case, it does happen to be the killing of the president. Right. And the, and the, the thing is, I'm not suggesting... Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, mind you, mind you, Mr. President, I'm not talking about an investigative body. I am talking about a body which will take the all the evidence that the FBI has amassed when they have completed their inquiry and produce a public report on the death of the president. That, I think, you see, that is not an interference in Texas. No, but it's that is, a, wait a second now, that is a way to transmit to the public <coughs> without, <coughs> without breach of confidence and in a way that will carry absolute conviction what the FBI has turned up. Why can't, uh, why can't the FBI transmit it to 
because no one, uh, again, on the left, they won't believe the FBI. And, uh, and the FBI doesn't write very well. Will you make Katzenbach? Uh, well, I just wouldn't put it on Bobby and Nick Katzenbach. I'd have it outside. I think it's unfair to put it on Bobby. It's unfair to put it on Bobby. It's his own Bobby. I'm going to say something about it. We've got to be curious in on that. I'm curious to lay out the form of his American Bar Association. That's number one. Put it on. Well, I'm probably putting it on something big. I'm not suggesting that you appoint an additional investigator. I'm very suggesting that you want to carry, if 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 you want to carry absolute conviction, this very small addition of the admirable machinery that you've already set up will help you, and I believe that it will strike the imagination of the country and, uh, 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 be a very uh, useful, happy thing. A happy thing. You, uh, the man, uh, the man, ask, ask if you have two seconds, uh, 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 or this afternoon, for example, ask Dean Atchison. Uh, he, he's the man to ask. I, I see all the arguments you, you make, and you're dead right, and I, my conception was completely wrong. But I do think that that additional feature is needed. I talked to, I talked to, I guess, after midnight last night with the... Well, I know how you must have been concerned. The English, the truly civil liberties lawyer in this town, in my judgment, the man that's made the best arguments before the Supreme Court, and it was his, uh, worst his judgment, the worst mistake we could make. The yes. Worst we could make. Yes. It's getting trapped. Well, I and I, well, I, and, I see, and I now see exactly what how right you are and how wrong you are about this idea of a blue ribbon commission. Well, you see, Captain Back suggested that, and that provoked it. Uh, they, the lawyers at the council of me just hit the ceiling, said, "My yeah. God Almighty!" I, I, I see, I see, I see, I see that you're right and that he was wrong. What I do. Now, I see, I see, I see, I see that you're right and that he was wrong. What I do... I called back to Katzenbach, and I thought he accepted. Uh, well, I, I don't know anything about Katzenbach, because I haven't talked to him for three weeks, but... Uh, but uh, you I, see, what, this is... What I am suggesting is not at all what Katzenbach suggested. I am suggesting simply a device. Uh, let me talk to Atchison. And, for coming uh, up the result of the FBI inquiry in a way that will be completely coherent, detailed, and will carry unchallengeable conviction. And this carrying conviction is just as important as carrying on the investigation in the right way. And uh, I worry about this post editorial. I'd like you to get ahead of them. Well, and, I worry about post, period. But <laughs> well, I do too. Uh, but I'd like, you, I'd like you to get ahead of them. And if you have, if you make this decision and have Moyers call uh, 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 friendly or K, instead of uh, uh, being, well, you know, uh, this is what we ought to do, this is what ought to be done, and then what you do being denounced is inadequate, they'll, uh, they'll be flattered and will do you a tremendous piece. And I'm sure that you will have the, the strongest possible support. It'll be thought that everything has been done that needs doing. And I, but I do think, my own judgment is that, that there is that little missing piece. And, and uh, Dean may disagree, and you talk to him. I'll talk to him, and... And I hate to interfere, sir. It, no. I only dare to do so because I care so much about you. Oh, that, Joe. And I have the deepest faith in you, and I think uh, you've been right and I've been wrong as to the general conception. Not a question, uh, it's not really my thinking. I'm not a, enough uh, experienced. I'm really, know. what I'm really honestly giving you is public relations advice, not legal advice. Well, I, I, I'm i not grounded, uh, I don't have the depth and civil liberties picture that some of the folks that uh, have worked on this with it. I had, and this is, I had a lawyer left my house last night after midnight and spent, I guess, three or four hours going over this thing from A to Z after the Attorney General uh, was called in here yesterday afternoon after the FBI was put on it after we told Secret Service to make available everything they had. 
and we thought that uh, this was the best way to handle it. Yeah, well, I think so you're, I think you're, I think, I, think, I, 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 think I, I repeat, I must not keep you because you'll be late getting into your trousers, but uh, uh, I repeat, I think your decisions have been 200% right. And, and uh, um, uh, I was wrong, but from a public relations standpoint, from the standpoint of carrying conviction, there is that missing piece which is easy to supply without infringing upon Texas feelings or sovereignty. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Ah. Goodbye.